it might be years. The more you show who you are and don't change and don't try to fit, that's the person people respect. Because the only thing they can say is, this whoever it is ain't never changed. Like they'll tell you, they'll tell you from the get go. Like I can't never change. I can't never change since 1998. He's still the same person in 2021. And for me, that's the gratification for me. That's that's still the opening the door. That's still the yes ma'am, no ma'am. That's still the treating people with respect. That's still being humble. That's still having a good work ethic. Like people gonna be like, man, I he he the same dude since like regardless on the fame or how much money money he got. That boy ain't never changed. So that's why I tell the young generation, be whatever you are, be that person. Don't never change for nobody. So two things. Um, what you say? No, I got that. I'm sorry. Um, please tell me what I can't do. Staying the same. <laughs> um, two great gems. But before I leave, I have to ask you, what does Super Bowl mean to you? Super Bowl. Um you really can't explain the experience and you know what i can't explain it but since you're an entertainer and i feel like football we're entertaining as well you can't explain to somebody how it is on the stage having a hundred thousand people saying your song word for word i can't explain knowing a hundred million people watching me for the super bowl knowing my name and for me to entertain and give them people what they're looking for. That's the part we appreciate about our fans. Like I can only imagine you going into a concert and you having 70,000 people and word for word, they saying mm -hmm. your song. I can only imagine. So I'm just looking at yours, like you being the entertainer, but I'm saying one of your songs like tap in, I'm being entertained on the football field and people just loving my play. Right. And I think the feeling is indescribable because although it, it, it looks and it can feel scary when you up there and you in your bag, like I know I have a good show if I black out. Do you feel like that when you, when you have a good game? Oh, uh, 100%. Y'all say in, in your bag, we like, man, I'm zoning. Right. Like I'm vibed. Home. Like I'm all the way vibed out. Like you, you know, when you in the matrix, when everything is just moving slow. Right. Like you in control of everything. When you're on that stage and everything moving slow and you feel like you got everything from the music to the fans, to the DJ, to the rhythm, to the vibe, like you really can't explain that to somebody. They got to really be in the vibe with you or understand or be in the same profession as you. Same with football. Like when you want to talk about the Super Bowl, like you really can't, I, I can't really explain it. Like you gotta, you gotta be on the field with me to understand. Like I'm trying to give it to you as passionate as I can talking about it, but you really gotta be on the field with me. Same way when you're on the stage, like somebody gotta be on stage with you to understand what you're going through. Right. Well, I, I really appreciate your time. Appreciate you, thank you. No, you, you like, you hella wise. I can tell that you reflect a lot and you, you've learned a lot. So we appreciate really appreciate you. you for tapping in. Hey, listen, thanks for your time and effort. I appreciate you letting me tap in. Of course. Well, you have a safe Super Bowl. I hope you enjoy it. And eat some good food. <laughs> Likewise. Have a good right. weekend, man. Bye. All right, cool. All right. All right, y'all. That was the third guest, the second guest. Um, my bad. So we are on our way to our third guest. Let's see if he's on right now. Um, this weekend is all about just connecting, putting the dots together, having a good time, respecting and appreciating the sport and each other. Um, so that's why I wanted to bring these different people, different people on the show to give, you know, different insights to having success in life. Is my connection better? Yeah, good. Yo. What's up, Deshaun? How you doing? What's good? How you feeling today? I'm blessed in yourself. How you doing? And thank you so much for joining us to Weedy Bow Talk Show. Really appreciate you tapping in. So I heard you play for the Egos. You know, oh, my yeah. uncle was coaching over there. 
You don't even know. That's my boy, Matt Harper. For real? That's my dog. You know, I play. I played with him in college too, cause he went to Oregon. I played at Cal. You know, I play. I went to. Uh, I went to Cal Berkeley. Oh, so y'all go way back. Tapped in, yeah. Bay Area, you from the Bay, right? Uh huh. You are too. West Coast representing. Los Angeles, California, to be the rat. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you feeling um, about Super Bowl? What you doing? What you eating? Man, honestly, I'm moving everywhere right now. I just lost my grandma. Not try. Not. To be too sad, but uh, you know, no, that's real life, though. Huh? That's real life, though. I'm so sorry to hear that. So I'm dealing with that. I just got back to uh, I actually stay in Tampa. I got a spot out here, so I'm actually in Tampa. But honestly, I'm just chilling, really. I, I can't really enjoy it too much. Cause I'm waiting for myself to play in the Super Bowl to keep it all the way real. <laughs> all right, as you should, as you should. Um, well, my condolences to you. My well, my grandma was like one of my best friends, so I could only imagine what you're going through right now. Um, I'm so sorry to hear yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. But, but yeah, so what you got planned to make sure that you get to the Super Bowl next year? What you doing? What you work, working out on? I mean, should I just finish my 13 year in the NFL? So for me, I'm just I'm just staying on my shit. You know, day in and day out, just putting myself in the best position to you know better myself. You know, regardless of how long you've been in the league or you know, how long you been playing, I look at it, you got to do all the little things, you know. So I take pride in doing all the little things right, staying in the gym, staying fit, you know, uh, nutrition-wise, and just putting my best foot forward every day I wake up, you know. I don't, I don't take no day for granted, you know, and I'm blessed to be in the position I'm in, coming from where I came from and seeing what I had to go through, you know, growing up. So, you know, I just cherish the moments and just continue to stay at the high level, you know. That's that's how I look at it. Right. Um so I like to do ask you a special question because I know everybody know you, but just to give you just to give people like some backstory, I often hear this sometimes. So was football your always your dream, or was you one of them tri athletes, dual athletes that wanted to play like different sports, and then football is just the sport that worked out for you? Shit, honestly, I, I played every sport growing up. I played basketball, baseball, football, ran track. My mm -hmm. pops put me in every sport because I was in the streets hanging out, and he was like. Nigga, I ain't finna have you on the streets. I ain't finna have you doing activities that you do when you're on the streets. So mm -hmm. my way of, like, getting away from that, my dad put me in every sport. So should I, I was real good at baseball, basketball, but the love I had for football was different. Like, you know, going outside, playing tackle football, you know, being that rough little nigga in the streets, like, that's what mm -hmm. I love doing. So for me, it was just something always about football and just, you know, building that camaraderie with your friends and shit. So, like, I play every sport, but football is, like, always my top sport. For sure. Um, I feel like throughout these interviews, um, adversity and overcoming hurdles has been like an overlying theme. So what is something that you do or practice when you have to face adversity? That's a good question. I, I honestly feel like you really can't prepare for adversity. You got to go through it. You know what I'm saying? You got to like be in that moment. And once you're in that moment, like how, how, how are you going to react to it? You know, and me, like, I, I prepare for, for deep down moments where you down and out at your lowest. You get what I'm saying? Because I've been there before and I know what it feels like. And one thing for me, I never want to go back to that moment. You get what I'm saying? So, like, when adversity hits, like, you know, I just react and do what, you know, my characteristics would tell me to do. Find your way out that shit. Like, don't stay in it. Don't be stuck in it. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you could be at the bottom, but your mentality got to be stronger than that circumstance. So, for me, I always, out the worst, I'm going to always make the best. Like, it could be the worst of the worst, the bad situation. I'm going to find the positive out of it. And that's just how I live my life. And that's what type of nigga I am. I feel like those are some really great gems. And I feel like athletes and musicians can really relate to those things. I always tell people, I'm black and white. I'm not going to be in the middle. I'm not going to soak. I'm going to figure out that, a solution. That great, yeah, that great area out. <laughs> yeah, the great, that great area out. And you got to deal with it and get past it. So I can definitely relate to some of the things that you said. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'm a foodie, so I have to know, what are you eating for Super Bowl? Man, that's a good question. I'm for, I'm for sure. I cook a little bit, but I'm going I'm to chill and relax and enjoy. I'm probably let my brother throw something on the grill, probably make some soul food, mac and cheese, greens, yams. Like, I'm going to really treat it like it's Thanksgiving because I want to throw down because obviously if I was playing, I couldn't eat like that. So since I ain't playing, I'm going right. to eat that. <laughs> I'm going to so, take advantage. So so top three foods for tomorrow. What you got? Who your starting three? My starting three, three for the ah, food. Damn, I'm a, I'm gonna for sure. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the mac and cheese. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna go 
I'm gonna go to. I, I gotta throw the yams in there with the uh, marsh. I mean, uh, marshmallows on top. You know, you gotta have that sweet, sweet. <laughs> fire! Hey, I'm telling you, fire with the cinnamon on there and all that. You gotta do that. That's that's two. And my third one, I'm a. Uh, I'm really trying to stay off the meat right now, so I'll probably just go go greens with uh, some turkey meat in there. Oh, that's not fire. Hey, save me a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for sure. Hey, you know it's crazy though, for real. That um, uh, Matt, we used to always talk about you because he knew I, I came from the band. He was like always bragging about you. He ha he happy for your success and everything. So we used to be like, he like, yeah, that's my niche, you know. I, and I he was talking about your dad too because I'm from Cali and grew up in the Cali shit. So he used to always talk about that shit. It's crazy though. Right. Nah. That's what's up. That's that's so cool. And um, I appreciate you representing the West Coast. I didn't know you was from LA, so I was really excited. Yeah. When you know, I was doing my little research on you, but For keep sure. representing, keep winning. Hopefully, you know, I see you in the Super Bowl next year. Hey, right, mandatory. No, I appreciate you. Good luck with all your success and keep going. Go to the top. All right. You be safe. All Thank you for tapping in. All right, Deshaun. They said my connection's really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the comments. Michelle. Should be fine. They said my connection is really bad. Hey, and then look at this down. Okay. Hey guys, is my connection still bad? I look good on your phone. <laughs> let's, let's, oh, they said it's still. Yeah. Oh, oh my no. goodness, that's probably why they be. Ah, I'm like stutter. I don't know the logins to my my Instagram. Give me the IP number from your phone, and then I'm going to call them. You don't have to take it off. Bear with us. Bear with us? Yeah. Bear, bear with, with us. I'm going to just keep going? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you guys. I am so sorry. I wish we would have you know, checked in before we started this. But, you know, it's been a busy morning. And, you know, I'm at a really nice, expensive hotel. So I thought the Wi-Fi would be on and popping. But you feel me? Shit happens. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, let me see if I can show my. I got five. G. Ooh, Michelle, check. I turned my Wi-Fi off. I got full bars. It looks good. Be sure fine. Okay. <laughs> no, that's right. Shout out to um, who is it? Eighteen. All right, it's my, hopefully my wife, my service is a little better. It looks good? I know that's right, at and I know that's all the way right. Send that 5G. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm? Did you add a spot? Yeah, I Okay. Hey! Can you see me? I can see you. Can you see me okay? Yes. Hey, Bozma girl. Hey, sweetie. Girl, How you, you doing? are lay and slay today. Listen, I knew I was coming on with you, so I was like, let me get myself together. You oh, know what I'm saying? Girl, that eyeshadow is popping. Listen, shout out to my girl, Ty. Oh, shout she out to my girl. got me all the way together. And shout out to my girl, Deanna, because she got me nice 